Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, video number two in the series where we're going to pick up right where we left off earlier. And this time we're going to take a look at our metallophone family, which is our xylophone or glockenspiel uh, family. And the differences in the types, the shape and sizes, the types of finish on the surface of these metal keys, right? These are all metal keys. These are painted. These are not painted, but kind of polished with a, with a brilliant kind of finish. And there's definitely differences in there. But just to uh, tidy up the last little bit about these chimes. So we were talking about how this chime, which has a longer sustained note, actually has, sorry about that, a very long sustained note compared to these. So the sound is louder in these, and one of the reasons why is because the diameter, each one of these tubes has a bigger diameter, or the, the size of the tubes, right, from side to side. These are about half inch tubes. So these are louder, right? They're louder because they're bigger diameter holes, they're also longer, which gives a little bit more volume. It's also the effect of the sound coming out of these tubes towards us that makes it the sound louder. But it doesn't have the sustain of this because the paint, right, the caps, the, the ends are not capped, but also the paint, the paint is constricting. It's sort of like holding that sound in these tubes. It's not letting it go back and forth because it's not capped, but it's also not coming out as much. Okay, with no paint, it would be coming out a lot more and sustaining and, and having that sort of uh, sonority, as they call it. But with the paint constricting the sound and holding it in, it's more or less coming out of these tubes and escaping quickly, and that's why it doesn't have a long sustain. Okay, having wrapped that up, let's go over here where we're a lot more familiar with uh, these, these instruments in this family of instruments. So, believe it or not, I have measured, here's our C, from C to C, and I did a little bit of measuring. This big blue C is four inches long, this big blue C is four inches long, this big blue C is about an eighth inch, well not an eighth inch, maybe a sixteenth to an eighth inch wider than our big blue C. This small C is the same length as this, and once again, this small C is just a little bit wider than this one. So, once again, the theory is that the keys are almost approximately the same size. It's hard to know if they're made out of the same metal or not, but I think they're pretty close. This finish of this surface is painted, which is, again, going to darken the sound. Remember, the darker notes are over here, and the brighter notes are over here. Right? Wow, so that rings out. Now, it's brighter because it is not painted, like over here. It's not as dry right away because again, just like on the chimes, the paint is going to hold, hold in that sound and dry it up so it doesn't resonate and vibrate as long. But also, what is also amplifying the length of those notes, that beautiful overtone, that beautiful sonority, the sonar properties of it, is this tray underneath here. See, underneath here, this isn't just a case, this is also like a resonating chamber. There is room underneath here. And if we take a look underneath, we can see this is part of the underneath of the resonating chamber. Each series of lines has is right underneath the keys and it allows the sound to bounce around within the, the the plastic tray or the suitcase of this xylophone but also exit the bottom and it also has as you can see a couple things that sort of hold it up off the table so let's do a quick understanding of that okay now here's our wood xylophone mallet 
Once again, I'm looking through the camera as I try to hit the keys, so it's not exactly perfect. Let's see if I can change that. Now here's the mallet that comes with this glockenspiel. So plastic is going to be a little bit brighter. There's another kind of trend in music. Even on our own xylophone, right? Here's our wood one. Right, so plastic and drumsticks and in mallets is invariably going to be a little bit brighter. Right, there's another sort of scientific trend in music. Now, let's see if we can remember. It's going to be hard because I'm going to have to trade a little bit. So let's just go down from C to C. Okay, so let's remember that. Now, let's fold down the leg so this is flat now okay and of course it's not going to cooperate when I try to open it okay here we go now let's do the same thing again ready that's I think the initial moment of the initial attack or the projection at the moment of contact I think that is the same, but it definitely doesn't ring as long, right? It's a little bit shorter ring, and if we had like some scientific instruments, we could measure the length of that ring and the frequency, the megahertz of that ring, and if you ever want to do an awesome science project, that would be totally awesome and probably get you an A. Okay, so it looks like this is about 6 minutes and 50 seconds. That's getting a little long. But let us just remember the science of sound in the telephone family is not just the size, the length, and the size of keys, but also their finish, whether they're painted or not, whether they're polished or not, and also, of course, the different types of mallets. Right? There's the gray side, and here's the black side, right? So different kinds of mallets. And I almost forgot to show you guys this. This is the official Vader catalog from a couple years ago, and these are all the cool kinds of mallets. Marumba, xylophone and bell, these are round like ours, right? Here's some more uh, rubber mallets for all types. Here's some vibraphone mallets. And they have a little bit of cord wrapped around the core. Now there's the color chart that shows you soft, medium soft, medium hard, hard, extra hard, right? These color codes on the shafts right there, red, right? Oops, that's not, when I'm looking through the phone, it's not exactly uh, focusing very well. And over here we have more vibraphone mallets and rubber mallets, more xylophone and bell mallets, different shapes, different sizes. And up here it has the head shape, an oval, right, shape head, a mushroom shape head, and these are our round shape heads. So as we will discover a little bit more when talking about drumsticks, the shape and size of each uh, drumstick is also the same as our mallets, right? Producing different sounds. Okay, that's enough. We're at almost nine minutes. Thank you very much. The science behind metallophone sounds. Bye-bye.